All right, this is my uh, impromptu attempt to create a short tutori tutorial on how I uh, create my lattergrams in Adobe Photoshop uh, Elements 5.0. Again, this is an older version. Um, basically what I do is I take a digital version of a uh, ECG, a 12 lead, and uh, it's a screen capture. The dimensions uh, here in this blue uh, rectangle are uh, 765 width and uh, 417 height. In addition to that, I'm adding a lightogram. Uh, the tiers down here have an additional height of 82 for a grand total of 499 in height. Um, I'm working on making a larger version of this, but this is what I've been working with for a while. And, uh, uh, I'm not going to be changing anytime soon. Um, to this I've added, on the right side you can see there's a, a huge bank of uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, symbols, notations, uh, letters, arrows, uh, pre-made lines, a lot of uh, oblique lines for different tiers. Um, the ones I usually make from scratch are the ones in the AB tier uh, that had to kind of be customized uh, for each individual ECG. Uh, quickly, I'm just going to kind of zoom in 300% and concentrate on this third beat right here. Um, don't want to make this video too long or it just will not upload. I have this blue plumb line which extends uh, the entire height of uh, the ECG and the lidogram. Um, what I'm going to do is put it right at the beginning of the P wave, the size P wave up here in lead V1. And, uh, whoops, I'm on the wrong beat. Go over this one next door. And what I will do is, once I've lined it up with the beginning of the size P wave here, uh, come straight down, and in that tier, in the atrial tier, um, I would add a slightly oblique line, which is right up against that plumb line. Uh, I would cap that off with a black dot here, and then I would move the plumb line over to the beginning of the QRS. Again, I'm lining it up with the beginning of the QRS and lead V1. And I would put my, uh, down here in the ventricular tier, again, another slightly oblique line lined up perfectly with that plumb line. Uh, at this point, I'd move the plumb line out of the way, off to on the left margin. And selecting a black line with a weight of one pixel, I would, uh, Put it here, stretch it from the atrial tier down to the ventricular tier, and simplify that layer. Um, to that, I would need to add, uh, before I do that, I'll show you the, uh, take the plumb line again, put it right over here at the uh, beginning of this retrograde P wave here in lead two. And again, I will add in a, uh, An oblique line which is showing retrograde conduction. It's right up against the plumb line, lines it perfectly with that retrograde P wave in lead two. And then I'm going to, uh, I've already, this is already pre made, but I've added in a uh, oblique line in the AB tier showing uh, the atrial echo, the re entry. Um, and this is what it looks like complete. I'm going to zoom out, put all the other elements in, which will make this complete. And I've got some uh, PR interval measurements there. I'm going to take out my plumb line. And this will be the final version that I would uh, display on the internet. Arrows uh, pointing towards the uh, retrograde P waves and lead to uh, progressively lengthening PR intervals. There's an attempt at uh, a type 180 block here, and you get atrial echoes when the PR interval reaches either between 49 and 51. Hope that helps.